Buckle up, tech nerds. Today, I am going to talk about the powerhouse of NeoVim. There's been a little bit of a buzz about it lately, especially with the Lazy Plugin Manager, LSP servers, and of course, Mesa. It's certainly a force to be reckoned with, but there are critics who still complain and dismiss it as being too complex. I'm going to cut through the BS. I'm going to tell you the real versus the height. Is it just for neck beards or can anyone use it? Do NeoVim users just have too much time on their hands or is it something that is easier than people think? And as you already know, there are 10 types of people in this world. There are those who read binary and then there are those who actually get laid. Now, I for one prefer to be in the second category. So the million dollar question becomes one of user friendliness. Like, will I be someone who has to learn how to read binary if I start using NeoVim? NeoVim, it's renowned for its unparalleled efficiency, speed, and extensibility. The interface, however, is a little daunting at first, which kind of leaves a serious question. Can NeoVim's efficiency coexist with a user-friendly natural experience? This, of course, is a difficult question because for some people, it will just simply be too much fuss. And for others, it makes coding fun. The second part is extensibility or the configuration, which got immensely easier with Lua. Now, I don't know if you're like me, who equate writing BIM script with writing like a PowerShell script. And maybe I would find some virtue in that PowerShell script if I actually liked Microsoft. But the simple fact of the matter is, every time I have to do it, I find I would rather look forward to a root connect. The other day I had this awesome developer who still uses NeoVim with BIM script tell me he was interested in upgrading his NeoVim configuration. However, he didn't want to do it with Lua. Reason? He didn't want any so-called programming. But he would actually be wrong here because Lua is 10 times faster than BIM script. And with Lazy, it's easier than ever to configure. Don't want all the bells and whistles? You can easily make it as minimalist as you want. So it's not like Lua makes it more complex. Besides, isn't VimScript considered a programming language? I would be remiss if I didn't discuss NeoVim's totally awesome and vibrant community. Meet TJ DeVries, a college kid who turned NeoVim developer. Social media, plugin development, professional developer, this guy does it all. And he's not alone. Bash Bunny, a Golang dev, made her mark doing nerdy things like using NeoVim on social media. There have been many others as well. Just in case you still don't get it, NeoVim isn't your average tech fact. In fact, it's a rebellion. We're just sipping coffee and typing code while building a revolution. And how does this compare with other dev communities and movements? Well, I guess I should spill the beans here. Now, before I do that, I just want to make one quick point that I think many people could probably get their start in real-world experience contributing and or showcasing NeoVim. Besides, it's just cool when someone knows how to use NeoVim. I can't say the same for VS Code. If someone knows how to use VS Code, it doesn't look quite as cool. Now, let's compare the supportive environment of NeoVim with experiences in other developer communities. You'll quickly find out how most devs of NeoVim stand out in addressing bug reports and providing assistance. Are they really as non-toxic as I'm claiming? Well, stay tuned for potential bug reporting adventures with VS Code. Of course, I'm kidding. I've said that the devs and contributors of this community generally are less toxic, but I can't say the same about the Fedora, Ubuntu, or GNOME developers where I have personally submitted bug reports that got completely ignored that were completely legitimate. 
I've only made one bug report on a NeoVim plugin and it was promptly addressed. And when I had a question about another plugin, I found the developer on Reddit and he quickly set me straight so that I could use his awesome plugin. For the personal anecdote time, I'll share my experience setting up Lazy. If I, someone who's not well versed in Lua, can figure it out with minimal effort, I think anyone can. The movement to make NeoVim more accessible is real, and it's challenging stereotypes and inviting everyone to the party. NeoVim, love it or hate it, it is a, a beast in the tech jungle. Use it or don't, NeoVim doesn't need your approval because there will be plenty of developers who like using it. And of course, where would we be without all of these so-called neckbeards? I get to use this awesome technology in my job every single day. And all I can say is thank you. Because there are many things that I'm good at. Reading binary just isn't one of them. And if you're ready to unleash the power of NeoVim, hit that subscribe button. Join the rebellion. And let's code like it's the end of the world because it probably is. Be sure to check out my future videos on NeoVim and my Python bootcamp, which is coming out very soon. Happy coding, nerds.